Paul, I hope you don't mind me saying that's like chalk and cheese, first half to second half, and second half, that is the standard. Oh, it has to be. You know, we were we were just a little bit tentative first half, and, and I mean, let's, let's get it right. They're a good side. They're a very good football side. I think they, uh, they've got a group who are probably very close to championship level, um, so we knew it was going to be a tough test. And first half, we were just a little bit nervy. Um, that said, we conceded a really poor goal because of playing a square pass, which we've trying to say to the players, look forward and play forward. Don't be making square passes. Twice on Saturday at Oxford, we got caught out playing square passes and got intercepted. And we play a little square pass, the lad nicks it. Mox should have took a fight, took, brought him down. He should have just taken a yellow card and, and brought him down inside their half. He has a free run. And then it's a great ball and it's a, a fantastic finish from Charlie Wyke as well, which you know you, you have to take your hat off to that. But then second half, we were different. We were much better. We showed much more than what we are like second half, where we're front foot, we were aggressive in our challenges, we were better in our running and our passing forward. Um, still areas that we need to be better on. Um, but second half, I just said to the players, that's the level. That's the level that we have to start every game. We accept that we've stepped up now to another level. Um, we've earned the right to be here as well. We have to go and show that type of desire from the start in every single game. And that's why we'll have a squad, because the players are shattered there. Um, but that's the level for us. We've got to make sure we continue to work like that. And then this could be a really big point if we go and work like that on Saturday. Those shackles come off and all of a sudden the passing is crisp, the movement, the support in each other, the space, the, the chances being created. Again, it's easy for us to say that's what you want to see from the start of the game. Well, it is. That's what we're asking. That's what the players want to do. It's not that we're saying let's sit off and let's defend. You know, We, we changed the shape tonight to try and be a bit more front foot because... Just when I thought about the weekend, I thought if we go with the same shape again, I'm going to get the same results. We're going to get the same results and where we're not going to threaten. Um, so we changed the shape. We went a bit more front footed and a bit more positive. Um, first half, I'm, I'm questioning whether it was the right thing to do. But second half, it certainly was the right thing to do. And I thought the players went and showed what they're really about. I thought we had some really strong performances. Jordan Gibson, I thought, was outstanding. Sean Maguire showed the quality that he's got. I thought Luke Plange, when he came on, he worked his socks off. And he, I'd spoke to him yesterday because I just felt he's just trying a little bit too hard, which is totally understandable for a young player wanting to make his mark. And I just said, just relax yourself and go and calm down and enjoy your football. And he, he looked like he played angry tonight, which is fine. I don't mind that. Just need him to calm down because it'll come because he's got ability. He's a quality footballer. And I know we haven't seen the best of him yet, but I hope that'll give him a lot of confidence tonight. Was that first 45, is that the mental side of the game? Is that players playing within themselves because it's maybe something's wrong inside? Um, I think you've got to have the belief, haven't you? I mean, I said to them in my final message today was just go and mean it tonight. Whatever you're going to do, go and mean it and, and go, go full throttle. Don't, don't you know, edge your bets and don't sit off it. And I thought first half there was a couple of times, you know, early on I thought we could have had strikes around the edge of the box when we've got into good areas and, and we turned the opportunity down. But second half we were a little bit better in that, in, in the way that we played. Um, we had a few more opportunities where we worked, well, you know, we worked the 18-yard box better, but didn't probably didn't work the goalkeeper enough. Uh, but I really think the way that we went about it second half is the way we have to. And I think you could tell from the reaction of the fans who were absolutely magnificent tonight. The reaction at the end of the game showed that they appreciate what the players have done second half. They can see that they're trying to do it properly. And uh, hopefully we can go and repeat that again at the weekend. Our goal, Maguire and Gibson pressing, Maguire and Gibson pulling off each other, making space, people getting into the box to support mm -hmm. that forward play. That's why we scored. Yeah, and, and Sean Maguire actually striking the ball because anything happens. You strike the ball between legs and with a bit of power. I think it took two or three ricochets. The goalkeeper can't quite judge it. And then we've got players following up to, to, to put it over the line. So... You have to do it. You've got to be brave in those areas. There's two types of bravery. There's going putting your head in and tackling. That's a bravery. But there's a bravery to go and strike things and, and, and whip balls in, in in the final third. And then getting into the box in the chance that you might score, you might miss it. 
but you've got to be there to, to give yourself that opportunity. I mentioned the players, could you feel it from the fans, those shackles coming off as soon as that ball hit the back of the net? It was a different place, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I thought it was all second half, in all honesty. I think they could see that there was a different mentality about the players. Um, and I, I, I keep saying it, we've all got to stick together because it's going to be a challenging season. Let's not make any bones about it. This is going to be tough and this is where we're all going to have to show that togetherness and we are going to stick together. And I thought the fans' second half were outstanding and a Tuesday night to get over 8,000 is absolutely magnificent. So long may that continue. Four Diamond 2, I hope I've described that right. It's, it's something food for thought, isn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, we did have to change it a little bit because they were, the way they, they played, they were causing us problems. So we went probably a bit more 4-3-3. Um, it's something that the players have, have been able to do in-game, um, but I, I'm not sure I've actually started maybe one game last year. I think I started with a, with a back four, but I just thought, I've got to do something different. And, it, it, you know, I, we talked on the coach on the way back, myself and Gavin. I was saying, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. And then I, I watched the game back, the Oxford game back on Sunday morning, and then I watched two Wigan games, and I thought, nah, I've got to do it. I've just got to do something different. Um, thankfully... Um, as I say, first half, it, well, I wasn't sure it was the right thing to do, but second half, I thought we were excellent the way we went about it. You mentioned Sean, it's none of our business why he was he was missing at the weekend, but he comes back and he shows why what, what you've brought him to the club. Oh, no, he did. I mean, we've had to be patient. I would have loved to have had him in for the first game of the season to start the game, but um, he, he wasn't fully fit and it took a bit of a gamble tonight. We were talking 60 minutes was, was his max tonight. Um, I'm not sure when he did come off. I think he might have got a bit more than 60, but... He got smashed in a challenge and um, I find it incredible that a free kick wasn't given. But anyway, he gets a booking for his troubles. Um, I thought he was excellent. thought he shows real intelligence about the runs he makes, the work he does. Even the quality of the passing that he does, everything's just... is that level, is that level that we're looking for. Um, I thought there was other players who stepped up to that tonight as well. I thought Mellish was outstanding in the way he worked. Oh, Moxon showed bits of quality, Callum Guy sitting in there and getting things ticking over. I could go through loads of them, you know, the second half was so much more what I want to see, what the players want to do, and I'm quite sure what the fans want to see. Importantly, the forward line, and Edmo was at the heart of it, started to really grow into that game, and the forwards were starting to create the spaces that others could exploit. Yeah, they were, yeah. They, they, it, it, listen, football's hard work. You know, it's, it, you have to run and you've got to work and you've got to challenge, you've got to compete. And when you do those things, you get opportunities. And that's what we did tonight. The goal comes from Jordan Gibson tracking and chasing their midfield player and, and, and making the challenge and then him and Shawnee combining. So you have to do that side of it. And w the one thing I said to the players at the end there, you're absolutely shattered. But that's what we expect. And now we expect them to recover properly and, and come back again because then we've got a full week to recover after the Exeter game. So it's full steam ahead again for the next home game. I hope we get the support to come and follow us again and back us like they've done tonight. And it's up to the players to go and perform from the first whistle. I've got to ask about Gav being booked. I'm guessing the, the referee probably doesn't even want to pull that yellow card, but these are the rules now. Um, I don't actually know whether he doesn't want to do it. I thought he was very eager to do it tonight. Um, I, I just I find it incredible. I'd, uh, no, I'm not going to talk about it. No, I've got nothing to say because I'll get in trouble. What did you say to the boys at the end of that? Um, well done on the second half, but that's your level. That's what we have to do from the start of every game. That's what we need to do. We can't. We're not a team who can sit off. We're not a team who can be tippy-tappy football, we've got to be front foot, we've got to be positive and we've got to make this place a really difficult place for away teams to come to and I thought second half we did, we really did the way we went about it. You've explained it already, you're going to rotate these players so I don't want to grill you after eight, every game about players who, who haven't made it into the 18 but two in particular, Finn back, I'm guessing that's Forrest and their caution and Dill. Is that with the hamstring issue that you mentioned? Yeah, Dill's done a bit of work today, um, so we're hoping we can build him up um, and get him back into full training. Um, so he was absent because of that. Finn back, again, Forrest have said that um, he wasn't, um, that, that not, not that he wasn't allowed to play, they're, they're telling us they're not advising us to play him. Um, so this is the last one now, though. This is it. We've got two weeks now before we go Saturday, Tuesday again. Um, and we've, we've done everything that they've asked. He's getting all the minutes under his belt, he's training, he's doing everything. Um, it's, 
it, it's now a selection issue as to whether he gets in the team or not. Um, but there's other players, people like Jaden Harris, who I think's done really well so far in pre-season, and I thought he did okay when he came on on Saturday. But it's all about the mix that I want on the bench that that Jaden missed out today. So there was uh, a group of five, six lads who trained this afternoon because it's important. I only put 18 in the squad today, which is not normal. But I just said it's really important that all of these lads get get the training numbers into them because we expect them, we put them into the team and it might be this weekend, it might be the weekend after, we expect them to go into the team and we're then questioning why they're not up to speed and we've not got them up to speed. So they've trained today, um, they've, we've got a, a, a friendly fixture arranged next week for them. On the Wednesday we've got a Central League Cup the weekend after. I think I'm right in saying it's the uh, the Football League trophy the week after that. So we've got games coming thick and fast that we need to give them every opportunity to show us what they're all about. And it, it is a squad game, isn't it? It's gonna, they're all going to be used and I think you can see them all buying into that. Yeah, no, they are. And I, and I get it, there's going to be frustrations. Um, you know, Jack Robinson's come into the club and he's had a really strong pre-season. Unfortunately for him, Jack Armour's ahead of him in, in, at this moment and that's why he's being selected. It may be that... Jack gets an opportunity soon, but we've got, um, as I said, people like uh, Jaden Harris, who's doing everything that he possibly can to, to, to keep himself involved, and unfortunately he's missed out tonight. My hope is that people like Jaden and Corey and Robbo, um, they stay with it, they stay with the group, because when you have to put that level of work in like we have tonight, we are going to need everybody. You know, first game of the season we did... 117 um, kilometres as a group. Saturday was 118. We didn't touch anything like that last season. So that shows the work they're putting in. And um, we've just got to make sure that everybody sticks together. Knocking on for 11 o'clock on a Tuesday night. Might as well finish with a transfer window question. Double header. Any inquiries for any of your players to go out the way? And are you still looking? Uh, yeah, we're still looking. I'll answer that one first. We definitely want to try and do something else if we possibly can. Um, it's flipping hard, I'm telling you. It is really tough. Um, and in answer to the first part, no, no inquiries for any of ours. Um, and I want it to stay that way. We've we've got a small group. I still think we need a minimum of one. And and I will say, the directors are not stopping me from doing it. Um, there is funds available to go and do it. It's finding the right players. It's finding something that's going to come in and be different for us. Um, We've looked at Fleetwood, we've looked at these tonight, we've looked at Oxford. I'll tell you, we can't compete financially with all three of those clubs. So we you know, we can't be getting that, that type of player in. We've got to try and be lucky. We've got to try and nick the right person, the right personality, the right ability that we can bring in. And we're going to keep looking until that window closes. And with a bit of luck, we might get the right one. Oh, thank you.